time. Good afternoon, dear judges. Let me welcome you again in my dream doing station today. This 10 minutes, I will express my feelings towards coffee in three factor challenge, belief, and experience. My name is Puja and welcome to my brew bar. As a barista, we are curious to look for the delicious cup of coffee and so many variables from farm to cup to manipulate the in target in cup become very hard to determine. Isn't that challenging? Say yes, it is challenging and I love challenges. How excited to judges when I say I'm going to brew some extraordinary delicious and unique cup of coffee that I have ever had. This coffee, when I tried a few months ago, I simply fall in love. Ah, such a vibrant, rich and heavy mouthfeel. My coffee is a rare and low yield varietal, originally from Ethiopia. Due to balance of rain, sunshine, moderate temperature and rich soil have allowed my coffee to flourish by 30 years in Colombia in an altitude of 1900 meters above the sea level and with the humidity of 74%. After carefully harvesting, it stays in hermetically sealed tanks for 150 hours where it breaks down the carbohydrates of coffee cherries in an anaerobic environment that allows my coffee to produce lactic acid, higher sweetness and intense aroma. Yes, it's my honor to present one of the best tasting varietal, Wusus, from Las Nubes Farm, the southern region of Pereira, Colombia. My next challenge is to believe on myself to bring out full potential of these coffee beans in your cup today. Me and my team, we roasted this coffee six days ago. Six minutes, 35 seconds. Ending temperature, 202 degrees Celsius. With development of 12%. I have ground and sipped my coffee before 30 minutes. 250 microns of particle size. My device is traditional plastic V60, which helps me to maintain consistent of brew temperature so I can extract my desirable solids along with fast flow rate. So that is, I will start to brew and I will keep on explaining. I'm using 14 grams of ground coffee, input 200 ml of water, brewed at 87 degrees Celsius. This temperature enhances the delicate aroma like sweet jasmine in my brew. I'm using customized water with 80 ppm with 6.9 pH. This water formula helps me to extract higher yield in shorter brew time. I'm doing three pours to maintain even interval and consistency between the cups. My total brew time is 2 minutes 10 seconds. Now judges, let me take you the interesting part of today, the aroma and taste experience. It's an experience of whole challenge and belief that I have done with myself. It's a balance between tactile, 
aroma and acidity. Let's start from aroma. In aroma, you will evaluate orange, honey, peach, and apricot. In your first sip, you will find the stone fruits like a peach, plum, apricot, and tropical fruits like beautiful fresh pineapple. In your second sip, you will find honey and cranberry infused black tea. In warm, you will get the same as hot, but this time you will also get nectarine, passion fruit and cranberries. And cold, last, you will notice the cranberry turning to the cherry covered with chocolate. Acidity is a punchy, it's bright, sparkling malik like a passion fruit. When it's hot, when it cools down, the sweet orange turns to the blackberries. Body is a heavy, mouth watering. When it's hot, when it cools down, it's become more citrusy and juicy. And the last after this is my favorite. It's a long lingering with hint of cinnamon and tart red currant in your whole experience from hot to warm to cold. So that is overall. My coffee has complexity. It's a floral and fruity when it's hot. It's become more bright and transparent when it cools down. So that is to assess the aroma. Please swell five times and go closer. There we go. Please enjoy. Here we go. Please go closer. Here we go. Thank you for your patience. That's done. May I? Thank you. May I? Thank you. May I? Thank you. So judges, today I have chosen this pink clay cup to enhance for sip sweetness of my brew, especially for you guys. experience of this beautiful whoosh whoosh please hold the liquid few seconds and think about the beautiful whoosh whoosh notes that I have served in your cup every sip before you swallow for the acidity and for the aftertaste please use the cupping spoon and for the body and the balance you can directly drink from the cup so that is on behalf of those farmers in Colombia who produce this unique coffee, my team, without them, none of this possible. And the last, me, as a brewer who brew this exceptional coffee, we are more than happy to spend with you this valuable coffee journey. And in this whole coffee journey, I realize one thing, being a judge is not easy. It requires rethink, focus, patience and time. I really appreciate your hard work. So judges, please remember me. My name is Puja and this is my time.